welcome to my life in coasters where today I'm here at Flamingo Park in Hastings which is a free to enter amusement park which operates on a token based system where you pay for tokens and then you use those tokens to get on the different rides yeah we've not got long here at Flamingo Park we've got around two hours um, but yeah I've, I literally just paid 20 quid for 40 tokens but the rides are they've got like a big spinning coaster um, pinball X, a ghost train and all sorts so yeah, I'm going to start on the spinning coaster um, so I'll show you that and just past the ghost train is Pinball X it's quite a big one as you can see it's just your standard Revachon spinning mouse but science special about this ride it will be my 100th roller coaster so yeah ridden my 100th coaster credit then pinball x yeah that was actually really good it's manufactured by sbf visa i believe not revachon because every one of them i've done is revachon i've done about five of these spinning mouses uh, yeah that's by far the best spinning mouse i've ever done nowhere near the best spinning coaster that would have to go to dragon Fury at chessington but yeah that was really good 100th credit not the one i would have picked but yeah we were i was going to be getting scenic railway or stealth as my 100th credit because i've never done stealth because i'm quite nervous to do it um but yeah it was pinball x now so i've done 100th posters so yeah very fun to do that anyway it's not just that here at this park there's a ghost train which is well what i'm most excited for um a drop tower yeah i've got 40 tokens but uh yeah, uh, I rode with uh, some family on that, so I already used up 15, but yeah, we've only got two hours, so glad I've not got too many. They are actually playing I'm a Celebrity's theme tune on the Jungle Maze. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I'll choose something to go on. I'm going to go on the uh, little mini drop tower down here at Flamingo Park now, then four tokens per person. <laughs> off of the hip hop drop tower yeah i thought that would be like a kiddie drop tower get some nice views yeah i didn't really get any nice views but the force on that you'd be surprised at how much airtime you get on these little like drop towers we've also got crusty crab order up at blackpool pleasure which i did that one a couple of months ago and that was really good but that one was even better very short cycle but i uh, got a lot of drops it's only about 20 foot tall but still a really good little family drop tower there brilliant airtime we'll check out some of the other rides and attractions here at flamingo park in a minute but i'm just going to go on jungle maze get me out of here it actually plays the i'm a celebrity theme tune which is really cool so yeah it's like a mirror maze and fun house so let's go in there here we go then jungle maze up and down these wet bits i don't want to get my feet wet so i've got to be careful Now we're going into what looks like a mirror maze. There we go, there's the I'm a Celebrity theme tune.
God, I've never done a Mary Maze this big. Oh, it's another dead end. Oh, it's all, oh, it's all fun, I guess. Oh, God, look at that. That's a long one. I love the uh, themed music. I say themed, it's I'm a celebrity, but... The glass, yeah, that's glass. Oh, my God. I've never done, like, a big mirror maze. I've done, like, small funfair ones, but this is huge. I think we can go around here. This will get us out. Oh, no, it won't. Oh, I found the way. Oh, it's a dead end. Oh, I found it. Here we go. So simple. Go through here. Oh, that's a dead end. Through here. Dead end. Oh my god. Dead end. Oh, I can't get out of there. It's kind of scary. What's the way out? Another way to go. That's another one. Can we go out of there? Oh no. No, I've only done like uh, at Chessington, broom on a broom mirror maze, but that's basically a footpath with some mirrors. It's glass. Oh my god. You sort of figure out what, what direction you've got to go in to get out. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh yeah, here we go. Fun out section. And the bridge, yeah, that was really good actually. So after coming out of the jungle maze and doing the drop tower now, I'm going to check out some of the other attractions. It's not massive here at Flamingo Park, but there is a good few bits to do. But I can see some sort of construction work down here so I've got to go and have a look at what that is yeah it's like this brown framework I'm not too sure what it's for but we'll go and take a look see what we can see I can see an old um, pirate ship there but that doesn't that seems to have like broken and everything you can see bits are just falling off of it uh, yeah I'm not sure what this is I can only imagine possibly a coaster like traveling one I'm not sure. I'm, I'm no clue what that's for. Uh, but yeah, they did used to have a caterpillar coaster here last year. Uh, so there would have been two credits. But yeah, just the one this year. It seems like they're going through quite a lot of construction here at Flamingo Park. Because that ride shut off. Can't go anywhere. The star flies all shut and like fences around. And it's all shut off down there. And the pirate ship's sort of a bit abandoned. So yeah, um... It seems like we've got a lot of construction going on here in Flamingo Park. But anyway, it doesn't, it's not going to stop me from getting around and doing some really good rides. Uh, right, next then, I think I better go on the ghost train before it closes. And then that's like the last major thing. It's time to head on to the ghost train then. Three tokens per person. Looks really good, this one. Looks like there's a lot of props just on the front of it. I think it's only one level, but still, we'll see. Let's, I'll take you on here. Here we go, on the ghost train, Flamingo Park, Hastings. Oh, it's pitch black in here. Oh, that's interesting. You couldn't see this before. Turn the light off. Yeah, it's round two this is for me, but I didn't really get a good POV on the first time, so I thought I'd go again. Ooh. 
Yeah, uh, that gets me every time. I like the arrows. My ears. I'll let you guys know a little secret. There was a time I wouldn't do those trains. Starting to think, wish I didn't. Oh god, terrifying. Just come off of the ghost train then. And um, wow, I wasn't expecting that. I think that might actually succeed. The uh, Dimchurch ghost train, to be fair. It was really good. There was a lot of props in there. The Dimchurch one's got a lot of paintings and it's a very good layout. Um, and it's quite thrilling, isn't it? It's got a couple of drops. That one, it's all single level, um, but you do go round quite a long way. It's quite a long go train. I think it's about two minutes in there. Uh, all these different props jumping out at you. A lot of like pitch black, proper dark scenes, uh, like this smoky smell in there. Really good. As a ghost train, that is as nearly as good as the Pleasure Beach one. Better than Dimchurch. I didn't think there was much smaller, but yeah, really good best single level ghost train there is out there really good i'll definitely have to go on that again i think i've got about like 10 tokens left now uh, 11 actually i've just worked it out uh yeah so i'm not sure what to go on to be fair because there isn't loads i definitely want to do the ghost train again um yeah i would do the coaster but it's no single riders uh, uh, i think i'll go and ask actually see if i can get on there as a single rider um yeah, I don't know if that's because of the weather or that's an old sign. Yeah, I think it is actually no single riders on there. So that's why I got 40 tokens. Because I thought, I know, I'll go on the ghost train. Not the ghost train, sorry, Pinball X again. Uh, yeah, that's a shame. No single riders, yeah. Very big shame. Can't go on that one again. Anyway, uh, I'll get some off-road footage. Now I've just found this awesome Pinball X sign. This is really good. Like themed ride almost uh yeah i didn't say no single riders on there um yeah this wild mouse is a high speed coaster ride yeah unfortunately you're not gonna be able to go on there again i really would have liked to take the camera on actually uh yeah maybe i'll try and find some people to go on with but uh, yeah i'm not too keen on doing that to be fair yeah there's the star flyer then i might have gone on that i've never actually done a star flyer before i've done the swings but yeah star flyers just freak me out a bit um, just like I don't do really tall drop towers. Uh, I don't mind doing massive coasters though, so yeah, I'm not sure. Maybe I would have gone in there, because it's not too tall, to be fair. Um, yeah, it's quite a family one, so I reckon I would have gone on that. Uh, I've been waiting to find a smaller one that's not like 150 feet. Anyway, can't go on that. Can't go on the star flyer, so yeah, might as well go on the ghost train. Just come off of round two on the ghost train there. It's terrifying. Yeah, it's really good. A lot of dark scenes. Absolutely love it. Best single like level ghost train in the country. Now I've done every major sort of ride here at Flamingo Park. I'm just going to walk around, go on a couple of bits one more time, um, and then I'll get some off-ride footage as well. Round two on Hip Hop. This awesome little drop tower. Yeah, I would like to go on the coast again, so I might try and find someone to ride with. But yeah, if not, I'm just going to go on this hip-hop tower. I might try and film on it, but I just don't see if they'd allow me to, really. So that's a shame. Yeah, I've just been on the drop tower for my second go of the day. I'm going to finish the day on the dodgems. Full track on the dodgems. There was actually a full track on the dodgems there. Um, yeah, and then everyone come off and it's really quiet around there and I think they're packing it up for the day because no one's riding. I don't want to go on a dodgems. Oh man, I'm just going to find something else to go on. I don't know if I'll re-ride the ghost train or something like that. Anyway, I've just got four tokens left. So I'm just going to walk around now uh, and check if there's anything that I've missed. Here you've got this fun like little balloons ride but it's not the ones where you can spin it so I'm not going to bother going on that as it's more of a kiddie ride. Uh, yeah you've also got this carousel. Uh, again it's a small kiddie carousel so I'm not going to go on that. 
uh, this little kiddie ride. Normally you find these with a cover over them, so I quite like the fact that it's not got a cover over it. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to go on that. It's a very kiddie ride, and it's not a credit, no. Uh, Paratrooper is unfortunately closed. I've been on this ride enough times. Yeah, I did the one at Pleasure Beach, and I've done this one twice. Dodgems, I'm going to wait for some people to um, go on before I do them. Pinball X, I can't ride because I'm a single rider. And, yeah, I think I've done the ghost train twice. I know what happens in there now. Uh, yeah, here's what they used to have, I guess, like a twister, caterpillar coaster, the, uh, what else, the swans, they aren't open at the minute. Uh, what else have we got? The Showtime Fun House, that's closed. Yes, yeah, so there's quite a bit that's missing off that. I'm not quite sure what's happened, like, with it, if it's financial issues or what's happened. But, yeah, it just seems to be left and not much happening really but yeah it's still a good place to come down go on the coaster but i wouldn't say you could spend more than an hour here um doing everything with what's currently available on offer here at flamingo park in hastings We dropped out for a third time it was really good there isn't like loads to do here and apart from the coaster but yeah i'm just going to start to wrap up the vlog now um and yeah we've got to go so basically and my opinions on this place is it's really nice little seaside amusement park but there isn't like loads of rides and attractions uh to be fair there's like two main ones like the coaster and the star flyer Unfortunately, the Starfire is not operated in a while by the looks of things. Um, you've also got that paratrooper. That would be a really good thrill ride. Again, it's not operating in a little while. So really all we've got is the drop tower, ghost train, mirror maze, the carousel, the little hot air balloon, the dodgems. And that's about it for a little amusement park. So, yeah. It's not loads, but there's enough to do for a couple of hours. It's definitely not like a all day amusement park. Yeah, the coast is definitely the highlight. So that's where I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.